Hey friends, you've landed here because you are dealing with hip pain and you found this video or you've been following our series day by day and learning about what muscles are supporting the hips and getting those muscles activated so you can begin to have pain-free hips. So many people are plagued by hip pain and you don't have to have hip pain. Hip pain is mostly the result or usually the result of muscles not working properly. These muscle activation practices I'm gonna teach you are going to show you how to have pain-free hips. So let's dive in. Hey friends, remember that if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below as well as leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how this practice is working for you. Are you pain free from doing the practice? And what other practices would you like to do? Okay, so let's get on with the practice. Okay friends, so every day we're doing two muscle activations, one for the glutes and then one for the psoas major. Now these are two really important muscles that we've been talking about that help to maintain hip stability and help you to get out of pain. We also looked at glute med in the last video. Today, we're actually gonna be looking at the back muscles. Now, there is an Australian group that did a huge study and you can read more about it in some of my blog posts and in my book, Stop Stretching, A New Yogic Approach to Master Your Body and Live Pain-Free. I talk about, I refer to this group of people, this group of researchers that studied back pain and found that our side benders play a crucial role in not only removing back pain, but also hip pain. So if we wanna get hit, rid of hip pain, we need to make sure that our back muscles are working properly. So today we're gonna to be looking at a pose to help improve the back muscles one of the best poses that you can do and it hits so many different muscle groups all right so let's dive in what i'd like you to do is to come onto your stomach today and we're going to do this pose a lot of people refer to it as locust pose okay so you're going to come onto your stomach and just simply lift the legs and the chest off the ground now you can also lift your arms a little bit up the first time you do this, it might feel really challenging to you. It will get easier each time you do it. And more importantly, if you do this for 30 days, you're gonna feel really strong at the end of 30 days in your back. Let's do it again. Lift the legs and then lift the chest up. Now bring your hands to your lower back for a moment and just feel the muscles of your lower back working and then come on down. And then come on up. Very good. Now, each time you do this, you might have a sense that your back muscles are engaging a little bit more. Slowly come on down and then slowly come on up. Very nice. So each time you do this, maybe you can feel like, oh yeah, it's engaging a little bit more. Come on down and then come on up. Very good. So this particular muscle activation and then come on down, shake it out, and then come on up. This particular muscle activation gets into a big muscle called the longissimus, one of the biggest side bending muscles in the body. And then come on down, and we'll do it one more time. Come on up. Very good. Now see about lifting from the inner thighs, and then lift the chest up maybe just a little bit more, and then come on down. That's nice. So come on to your back now all right so on your back we're going to follow up with our other two muscle activation practices one of them is our bridge pose for our glutes so this is such a great pose because it activates the glutes it gets them working really strong if you feel like you have weak glutes which quite frankly you probably do <laughs> most people do don't worry i'm not picking on you uh, if you do feel like you have weak glutes, then definitely go back to video two when I talk about the glute max and I give two exercises for it. So on your back, start to bring the arms out to the sides and lift the hips up as high as you can. 
and really squeeze the glutes here as much as possible, okay? And then slowly come on back down and then lift the hips up and squeeze the glutes as much as possible here, all right? Very nice. And then come on back down. And then lift up again and squeeze the glutes as much as possible. Really nice. Very good. Now, sometimes it's nice just to poke the glutes and just make sure like, hey, they're working, they're activated. Uh, believe it or not, I've actually checked a few people in this pose, come on down, shake it out a little bit, and then squeeze the glutes, come on up. I've actually checked a few people when they're doing bridge and their glutes are really soft here. I'm like, come on, you gotta get them engaged. And why is that? Because they're starting to use other muscles. Okay, lift up a little higher and then come on down. Very good, and then squeeze the glutes and come on up. Very nice, lift up a little bit higher and then come on down. Now let's do our psoas muscle activation. So from here, we're gonna cross that ankle over the knee and then bring the left hand towards the right knee and then push that knee into the hand here, all right? And holding for two, three, four, five, six, and then relax and do it again for two, three, four, five, and six, and then relax and do it again, holding two, three, four, five, and six, and then relax and do it again, holding two, three, four, five, and six, and then relax and do it again, holding two, three, four, five, and six, and then relax. And again, doing it for two, three, four, five, and six, and relax. We'll do it one more time. Push the knee into the hand. And we went over this particular muscle activation in day one. So if you just happen to land on this video for some reason, definitely go back to day one and look at what we did there, okay? Relax and bring that right knee down and cross the left ankle over the right knee. Bring the right hand towards the left knee and push the knee into the hand for two, three, four, five, and six, and relax. And do it again for two, three, four, five, six, and relax and push the knee into the hand. So how much force should you be using when you press the knee into the hand? Typically in muscle activation practices, we're only using about 10% effort and then relax. And then do it again, press knee into hand. And we're doing that because what we're trying to do is stimulate the nerve endings where the muscle and connective tissue attached to the bone and then relax. And those particular uh, tissues are called intrafusal muscle fibers. And what, when we stimulate those intrafusal muscle fibers, we also stimulate gamma motor neuron coactivation. And that's what starts to send muscles, to, sorry, sends messages to the, uh, to the central nervous system to say, hey, we need to contract here. And so it improves this communication uh, loop that's happening in the body and then relax. Awesome. And that's it for today. So doing those three practices is going to improve that gamma motor neuron coactivation. It's going to improve that messaging system so that your muscles start to work properly. They're able to contract and contract on demand. Sounds good? All right, keep doing these practices and as you do them more, these practices are gonna help you to begin to live your best pain-free life. Remember that taking a pill for your pain, while it feels good, it doesn't solve the problem and stretching definitely makes it worse. Improve that communication system by doing these muscle activation practices and as you do them more, as I said earlier, you're gonna become 
stronger and more resilient. <laughs> Fact or fiction? These are some of the questions that you probably have as you're looking at so much of the information that's out there. Well, I've started a series called the Stretching Police Series where we go in and we look at what some of the people are doing out there, some of the claims that people are making about solutions to pain. Is it fact or is it fiction? What can you take and what should you throw away? So join me in the stretching police and remember to like and comment in this video below so that I know how these videos are affecting you in living your best pain-free life.